What if all the Genshin Impact characters, had a race, who would end up as the fastest character, and what clever ways can they use their powers, to their advantage? It begins as the unknown god, creates a cube, that teleports every vision holder, in the Mondstadt city. She then welcomes everyone, and announces the rules, of the little game they will play. They all have to race each other, from the Mondstadt city, towards the Golden House in Li Wei. Whoever is the last person, to reach that area, will have their vision taken away, by the unknown god. Teaming, is not allowed. You can't hurt another competitor, but you are allowed to sabotage them. Teleportation is banned, but any other way of getting to the Golden House, is allowed. And finally, for once, the Archons are allowed to join the game, and are not banned. Instead of losing their vision though, they will lose all of their mora instead. The vision holders, will take this game very seriously, because they don't really want to lose their ambition. The unknown god, allows them to scout the area for 10 minutes, and after the time passes, the game finally starts. Venti, is in the lead, thanks to his wings, allowing him to glide fastly through the area, followed by Shao, who has incredible swiftness, and agility with his power. Raiden, is moving nearly as fast as lightning, but not using as much shortcuts, Kazuha, is not far from them, using the winds to his advantage, similar to Venti. Kei Ching, is catching up to them though, thanks to her incredibly fast movement speed, sadly her teleport is disabled. Sayu, is also gaining some distance from the other competitors, because of her ninja training, and being an expert at running away. Child, uses his delusion, and starts doing fast electro dashes. The others are then more or less, still not too far away from each other, at least not far enough, that it looks like, it will make a difference later on in the race. As time passes, most of them appear to be in the one-fourth of the race. Diluc, is doing pretty well, with him having experienced a lot of running before, and then being able to do whatever this fire thing is, and walking on the walls. Rosaria, is also doing really well, it is the same for Karya. Razor, is starting to gain a small bit of a lead, because of him moving very fast, like a wolf. As Zhuang Li, sees that more and more people, are starting to catch up to him, he decides to do something very odd, and makes a giant, and long wall behind him, blocking the other competitors, and forcing them to find a different way to get across. The wall is extremely hard and sturdy, making it impossible to break. This wall is not a problem for Albedo though, as he casually just places a flower, that turns into an elevator, and he gets across from the top. Fischl, momentarily transforms into Oz, and flies through the top, then transforms back to normal. Amber, found the way to glide over the wall, using her expertise. Jean, uses her animal powers, and yutes herself over the wall. Aloy, gets passed, by parkering over the wall. Some other vision holders, manage to pass through, while others had to find another way. Sayu, and Kei Jing, get tired, and they can't keep up, with Venti, and the others. As majority of the players, reach the halfway of the race, that is when Venti, finally finishes first, with the incredible help of his strong wings. Followed by Xiao, who has incredible swiftness, and easily moved through the race. Raiden, also finishes, being impressed by the other two. At this point, almost all the cryovision holders, who can ice bridge, and Coco Mi, went to a different route, because going through the water, is actually faster than going through land. I am guessing the only characters that can ice bridge in the lore, not in game are, Kaya, Shenha, Ayaka, Gun Yu, Chong Yun, and Rosaria. While Coco Mi, just sprints over the water. The Geo characters, took advantage of their Geo constructs, by using them to go across mountains, and ledges faster. The Pyro characters, burned the trees and bushes that was obstructing their view, allowing them to move faster. The Hydro characters then proceed to stop the fire. Diona, is doing pretty well, because of her cat's Len bloodline, which gave her some advantages, over the other competitors. Goro, is also doing outstandingly well, because dog. Let's now talk about the people, who are currently at the back of the race. Barbara, is losing speed, and getting very tired, because she doesn't go out and explore too much. It is the same for Sucrose, but her animal powers, give somewhat of a small advantage. Lisa, seems to be just walking, not rushing at all, but she still seems extremely relaxed and calm. Klee, is struggling to keep running, because of her big backpack, 
and she is quickly losing stamina. And then Chi-Chi, is no longer even in the right track, and forgot what direction the golden house was. Meanwhile at the finish line, Kazuha, finishes, followed by Saryu, who barely beat Child, because she had a much keener eye, for shortcuts, and she also took the water route, making up for the lost time, when she had to take a break. Child, also finishes, with his electrodilution dashes, and would have summoned a giant whale, that could have eliminated the others, but it was against the rules. Ningguang, keeps using her geo construct smartly, blocking the other players, while she just casually passes. Sarah, takes advantage of her wings, and flies around, although she would have been faster if she could have teleported. At this point, most of the vision holders, are near the golden house, and this is when most people start to reach the finish line. Kei Jing, places sixth, with her speed of light and movement, but she would have finished faster if teleporting was allowed. De Luke, finishes the race, coming seventh, barely beating Rosaria, who was right behind him, and she ended up placing eighth. Razor, finished ninth, with his woven sprint, and his fast electro powers. And then Sarah, placed tenth, also because of her electro powers. Diona, finished eleventh, which surprised many people, because she was small, but her being tiny, was actually an advantage, because she could fit through small areas, allowing for faster shortcuts. Her having the kids lean bloodline, also helped. Kanya, then soon finishes, by using his ice bridge to his advantage, and being a fast runner overall. Goro, also finishes, because of Dog. The other cryovision holders, who took the ice bridge shortcut, soon start to nearly reach the finish line. Shinha, finishes, followed by Ayaka. Amber, managed to finish pretty fast, as she is already, experienced with running and exploration. Fischl, Aloy, Gunyu, Zhongli, and Albedo, also finish, with a pretty respectable time. Meanwhile, Chichi, got extremely lost, and is currently in a beach, picking herbs and plants. To her surprise, Baizu, suddenly appears, and hands her the direction towards the golden house, he is allowed to help, because he isn't part of the race yet. And instructs Chichi, to hurry all the way over to the golden house, or else she will lose her vision, and that there is cocoa milk, waiting for her there. This gives a huge motivation to Chichi, and she starts running immediately. On the other hand, Klee, got distracted fighting a giant plant, because she doesn't know yet, how very important, her vision is. Suddenly, Alice, also appears behind her. Klee, gets extremely excited, but Alice, says there isn't enough time, and gives her something, which seemed very important. She then gets told to follow exactly, to what she says. After 10 minutes pass, most of the vision holders, have already finished the race, and there is now only 6 competitors still running, namely Chichi, Lisa, Sucrose, Barbara, Klee, and Bennett. Bennett, seems to be struggling a lot, because of his bad luck somehow always blocking him. Sucrose, finally finishes the race, and she was extremely tired, because she doesn't usually, even run far at all. Barbara, was behind her, and was trying to catch up to her, but her animal element, gave her a slight advantage, but Barbara is still happy that it's finally over, for now. Lisa, then arrives also, and the reason why she took quite a while to finish, wasn't because she's a slow runner, it was because she didn't even try too much, knowing there was no reward, or incentive to have a higher placement. She just needed to not become last, so her vision won't get taken, and successfully did so, with the most minimum effort. It is now the final three, between Chichi, Bennett, and Klee. Bennett, starts being extremely anxious, and tries to find a way to bypass his bad luck. That is when he remembered something, and he tried to do an action, that was very odd. He started sleeping, and with him being unconscious, he suddenly received good luck now. A tornado appeared, that carried him all the way over to the golden house, and he finally finishes the race. So it is now, between Klee and Chi Chi. It was a very intense race between them, as both of them start to reach near the golden house. They are very neck and neck with each other, but when they both reach the bridge, Klee, does something unexpected, and starts to slow down, allowing Chi Chi to pass her. She then happily finishes the race, but sadly, Klee, ends up as the last person, and she now has to give her vision. 
the unknown god, immediately demands for the vision, and she angrily, but quietly throws her vision to her. When she grabbed it though, something very unexpected happened, and the vision, blew up, causing an extremely strong explosion, much stronger than anyone has ever seen before. Mona, quickly teleports all of them out, as she already predicted that would have happened. Alice then appears again, and tells them about her plan. She wanted to eliminate the unknown god, for whatever reason, and she saw this as a great opportunity. She gave Klee, an extremely strong bomb, made by her, and instructs her to lose the race on purpose. When the unknown god, requests for the vision, she would throw the bomb towards her, and it will explode, dealing a lot of damage. They won't get hurt however, because she already told Mona, to teleport you all out. The only problem is if the unknown god, actually did get eliminated by the bomb. The end. As usual don't take this video too seriously, because I did this all for fun, and let me know in the comments, who you think are the fastest Genshin Impact characters, in the lore. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like, bye.